to go to sleep with socks and gloves on? Yeah. Or better still, have a hot bath. Um, evidence here too um, that I discuss where people say, you know, I get out of a hot bath, I feel nice and toasty, I'm relaxed, and that's why I fall asleep. It's the opposite. When you get into a bath, you get vasodilation. All You sort of get rosy cheeks, red skin. All of the blood rushes to the surface. You get out of the bath, and you have this massive thermal dump of heat that just evacuates from the body. Your core body temperature plummets, and that's why you sleep better. So you can hack the system very easily. Wow. So your core body temperature plummets, and that's what makes you sleep easier. Yeah. That sounds so counterintuitive. Yeah. But it makes sense. And it makes sense because that's how we were designed. If you look at hunter-gatherer tribes whose way of life has not changed for thousands of years, and you ask how do they sleep, one of the things that seems to dictate their sleep is the rise and fall of temperature. You know, temperature is at its lowest in the nadir of the night, you know, three or four in the morning. And as that temperature, that climate temperature starts to drop, that's when they start to get drowsy, as if temperature is just sort of signaling to the brain, now it's time to sleep. So light as well as temperature are two key triggers to help you get better sleep. LSD. So those two things particularly, light and overall temperature exposure. So avoiding any kind of blue light from computers, your phone, uh, your laptops, etc. And just in general, you want to minimize the temperature. So you want to go around 66 degrees, 67. They've shown studies with that temperature particularly gets you into a deep phase of sleep. So when you're sleeping, you'll be in a longer phase of your deep sleep. And I would say... The other things that you can work on that you can additionally add in to increase your sleep quality is number one, getting some form of a magnesium oil. I'll get this spray and what I'll usually do is if before I'm going to bed, I'll spray it on my hands or my feet or maybe on my neck or even if an area feels kind of tense muscular wise or I'll do it right after I get a hot shower just so the magnesium absorbs better. And they've done studies where magnesium helps you with you know, any kind of insomnia, depression, anxiety, and helps you just get into a deeper sleep much quicker. The next thing, any form of foam rolling, I use this one, it's a, I think it's a tumble roller. And if you're working on any form of myofascial, you know, making your muscles more relaxed so you're not tense before going to bed, they've done studies where you can get into a much deeper sleep due to the fact, you know, think about it. If your muscles are tight up, more likely to be anxious or more likely to be stiff. And if your body's relaxed from the rolling out the process with the myofascial release due to a foam roller, you're going to get into a deeper sleep. Uh, the next thing, uh, some form of an essential oil. I particularly like something like lavender, maybe something like an orange oil as well. These particularly, if I diffuse them with the diffuser I have right by my bed, uh, I can notice that my sleep... Uh, I can get quicker into my sleep and at the same time the quality definitely increases. So there's small things that you can do like that even if you go into a hot tub you can add in something like Epsom salts or baking soda. These two combinations can help with lactic acid and just in general help those muscles relax. So think about it. Magnesium oil, myofascial release with foam rolling, some essential oils, minimizing the temperature in your room and last thing is light exposure. So if you add in those combinations, you know, sleep will be something that will be definitely gradually increased. You'll notice that the quality is increased. You'll notice that you're not going to be stumbling out of bed. And if you want to have a more accurate assessment, I'd recommend getting something like this, an aura ring. It can track your sleep. It can track your deep sleep, your REM sleep, the quality of your sleep and just in general how you've been sleeping. And I can definitely tell, like what I'll do is I'll do certain studies where, you know, I'll not use the magnesium oil, not take a hot bath, and I'll notice that the quality of my sleep definitely decreases. And if I add in the myofascial release with the foam rolling, the oils, the lavender, all this kind of stuff, the magnesium, the, the quality is drastically increased. So if you add in that collection to your sleep arsenal, you'll definitely be coming out on the greater side and waked up a lot feeling better. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time. Peace.